a quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 has two real roots. The difference between the reciprocals of the roots is 1 by 3 and sum of the reciprocals of the squares of the roots is 5 by 9. Then the largest possible value of b plus c is incredibly complicated question. We have the roots to be alpha and beta. We know alpha plus beta is minus b. Alpha beta is c. Sum of the roots is minus b by a. Product of the roots is c by a. a is 1. We have got this. Right? So, uh, if alpha and beta are not comfortable with, call it p and q. Right? So, let's not go all Greek and Latin. I have started with this, so I am going to continue with that. Difference between the reciprocals of the root is 1 by 3. 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta is 1 by 3. Or 1 by beta minus 1 by alpha, it doesn't matter. And the sum of the reciprocal to the square, the root is 5 by 9. 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square is 5 by 9. 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square is 5 by 9. I can work with this better because this can be simplified in these terms. So this becomes alpha plus beta, the alpha square plus beta square by alpha square beta square is 5 by 9. Is alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta? Alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta by alpha square beta square is 5 by 9. Is b square minus 2c by c square? b square minus 2c by c square is 5 by 9. Right, so we've got alpha plus beta the whole square. If you think about alpha minus beta the whole square, this is alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta or this is alpha minus alpha plus beta the whole square minus 4 alpha beta. So alpha minus beta the whole square is b square minus 4c. Okay. So we have 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta, it is beta minus alpha by alpha beta is 1 by 3 or beta square minus alpha sorry beta minus alpha the whole square by alpha square beta square is 1 by 9. Why am I going towards beta minus alpha the whole square that is what I can get. Like no I can get alpha plus beta the whole square alpha minus beta the whole square because alpha square plus beta square alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta all of the all manipulations I can do. So, I have got alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So, I can get alpha square plus beta square, alpha minus beta the whole square. I have an alpha minus beta here, I square that. So, if alpha minus beta the whole square or beta minus alpha the whole square, both are same. So, we have beta minus alpha the whole square, that is b square minus 4c by c square to be 1 by 9. b square minus 2c by c square is 5 by 9. b square minus 4c by c square is 1 by 9. I can subtract one from the other, the b square term will disappear. So I have b square minus 2c minus b square plus 4c by c square or I have 2c by c square to be equal to 4 by 9. I am subtracting from 1, I am subtracting 2. b square minus 2c minus of b square minus 4c by c square. b square disappears, 2c remains, 2c by c square is 4 by 9 this goes away 2 by 9 this goes away 1 by c is 2 by 9 or c is 9 by 2 I've got c equals 9 by 2 then what do I have I can substitute in either equation b square minus 2c by c square b square minus 2c by c square equals 5 by 9 this is c square, I multiply this by c square, b square minus 2c is this into 9 by 2 into 9 by 2, b square minus 9 equals 5 into 9, 45 by 4 or b square equals 45 by 4 plus 36 by 4 which is 81 by 4 or p is plus or minus 9 by 2, either 9 by 2 or minus 9 by 2, one of the two. So c is 9 by 2, b is plus or minus 9 by 2, when the largest possible value of b plus c, 9 by 2 plus 9 by 2, just 9. And so I have a feeling that there could be some juicier manipulation of this, I am yet to come upon it. 
uh, but I know that it is not too simple, it's too much simpler than this, a pain in the neck, it's a, it's a round goose, kind of proper wild goose chase to isolate each of these and find that classic tough question, simple framework of quadratic equation but super difficult as a question.